we live, babe. Oh, we live. What is going on? Hey, yo, what's going on? What's going on, everybody? We are back with another episode of the He Say, She Say podcast. It's your boy, Simba. And your girl, Chev. Your girl, Chev. My yes. girl, Chev. Oh, yeah, you like that. Huh? All right, so what's good, family? Talk to us. What's going on? What's been going on this week? It's been an eventful week, actually. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were talking like it was a radio station, like people I about to voice, yeah, like people, people about, about to call, call in, yeah, we, <laughs> like what's going on? Yeah, we can have that as a what segment. What is going on? Okay, so we're talking about what is going on. Mm-hmm. The biggest things happening in social media Stop this week. Was crazy. I know nothing about the stock market. Yeah, so if you want to talk about that, you can talk, talk about that. a little bit about it. Um, basically, some guys on Reddit um, decided to fight back against capitalism and Wall Street. And, okay. You know, they bankrupt a couple billion dollar hedge funds. Oh, for real? Love it. Yeah. I got on the action a little bit, you know. So you make money? You make money? I'll make a little sign, sign. You know so what I'm saying? A little sign, sign. Where's my cut? Hey, hey, what love? Valentine's there on the corner. Relax, relax. Okay, we got make you. Sure. But hey, oh yeah, so that was crazy. Um, it's still an ongoing battle. Uh, different trading platforms is right now trying to restrict the trading due to the volatility of the whole matter. But um, if you in it, I know you happy right now. If you missed out, don't chase it. There'll be other opportunities. I have no idea what you were just talking about <laughs> just now. But okay, I'm done with it. You said fight capitalism. Okay, cool. Sure. sure. All right. So the next big thing. This week is the sexual allegations against T.I. and his wife, Tiny. Allegedly, um, this person came out, I think it was a former friend of theirs, family friend or whoever, came out to say that they recruit women, drug them, and have sexual relations with them. Allegedly. Why is it so, that always the former friends come into the area out you? Well, I I have no idea. So she came out to say that T.I. put a gun to her head in front of her kids and that um they had other women came out on social media. Um, I think they said little, 14 there's a bit of, to there's 20. A bit there's a different... toss-up between that saying that some of it was the fake? same girl making fake pages and oh, okay. doing all that. So, you know, so, right but, now it's in the social media stage. Right. There's no solid facts out on it, but... You know, it's not looking for good for T.I. and Tiny Alchemy Screets. Right, but still, anything, they're anything still looking related, to see what's happening. Anything related with T.I., though, we probably could believe. So their friend, Shakaina, went on Shekinah. live. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we know that's <laughs> enough, Anna. She went, she went on live and basically confirmed certain things. Everybody who knows Tiny knows her friend, Shakaina, because they the whole really? reality yeah. show and whatever. Okay. So she said that... um. The young lady who made the allegations that she did indeed do wa- certain things did was involved in their extracurricular yeah. bedroom activities. For a place like America, where people have so much rights, they always forget they have the right to remain silent. It's wild. Yeah. <laughs> like so, the best answer sometimes is no. Yeah, answer. like as her as Chinese French, sometimes just hush up. I'm like you're not you're not fighting anybody's case because. She she basically confirmed a lot of things to say. She even said that um the 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 girl who came out, I think her name is Sabrina, she was the the one recruiting young recruiting women to engage in threesomes, foursomes, or whatever type of some sums within the relationship. So it's like, <laughs> girl, you are not helping sometimes at all. Sometimes the best answer is no answer. It's just silence. And then she was on live crying the next day. Like it's crazy. And then the next thing that happened, T.I., yeah, you know, he made his statement and he also confirmed that they do have their extracurricular activities in the bedroom and that they shouldn't have to open their bedroom door to certain allegations and apparently they're doing a lawsuit I guess but my thing is you're famous right nobody cares what you do in your bedroom but you're famous when you and your wife invite somebody in that's busting the door wide open so how about get one of those contracts those NDAs NDAs to say that if you engage in so and so you can't talk about it to the public if it was consensual because that's what he said he stressed that it was consensual activity how about making these women who you say are having consensual sex with you sign these documents because candy and todd also from atlanta are friends with them they do that because they all have threesomes allegedly so it's a mess 
it's a mess over there in Atlanta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start called Atlanta Amsterdam because it's wild <laughs> over there. Okay. Okay. It is wild. So what are we getting into today? What are we talking about? What are we here to talk okay, about? Okay, so switching gears to our relationship talk on the He Say She Say podcast. And today's topic is about meeting the parents. Hmm. Laws hmm. about in-laws. The in-laws. Laws about in-laws. How do you feel about meeting the parents? Um it's an important step. One I feel I shouldn't be taken lightly. Mm-hmm. But um, when is the right time to meet the parents? I feel like it just depends on the individual. Lots of people um, just starting off the relationship meet the parents early. Some people wait years. And some people even get married and never meet the parents. So I think timing just depends on the individual. For, but for me personally, it's when I feel like we're, we're at a good steady pace in our relationship. Mm-hmm. Whichever time that may be. If it's three months in, six months in. But I don't think I'll date you for a whole year and you not meet That's fair. my parents. Um, With me, it's like... There's no time on it, like we say. Like, there's a lot of... Th- like, in this day and age, a lot of the old rules just don't apply anymore. Mm-hmm. There's no generalization of rules, I feel right. like. The moment I decide, like, okay... This is gonna be a serious relationship because you you know when you're in a serious exactly, relationship, exactly. You know you're in one that is just like a a time passing, which please don't invest much time <laughs> in those. But um, I feel like the moment you decide like this is the potential to be a long serious relationship, then you should take that step. Right. You feel me? Um. But that could also be the type of relationship the person have with their parents. If it is that true, true. the person they feel like the mom might run. Run off the girlfriend or the dad might scare off the boyfriend. Yo, I mean, you might you might hold off <laughs> on the time. Them. Honestly, you like, meet them, meet your parents. Honestly, I feel like you know, I kind of wanna get them, my mom and my girlfriend again. I just wanna see the dynamic because you know, sometimes I remember this one time. I was like, I was story young. time. <laughs> I, was, I was a little Ooh, younger. Right? Story. And I met. The, I had this one girl, and mm-hmm. you know, I didn't like introduce her to my mom fully mm-hmm. but we just happened to be at the same place at the same time and she picked up oh, okay she turned her back she's like yeah this ain't it and who, who who said my mom's it? oh and, and it turned out she was a she was 100 percent correct like oh shit yeah, it was like she, it wasn't like it wasn't really like a long conversation it was just her mannerisms on the Me introduction mm. in the so how no but tell us how was that is it that the person didn't have manners like yeah, what was it, it, it that just turned wasn't like a, a cheerful joyful interaction between uh. us yeah and i was just like why uh, but why do you think that was though that's yeah. true i mean i can say why but wait wait i don't want to generalize you know well, no, like okay, you're talking in in <laughs> circles. No, we need to, to be we need it to be straight. Um, what is what was it? I don't know. You know the Jamaican screw face. That's what it was. Oh, so she was Jamaican. Yeah, I don't want to get too much detail. Oh, so she, it was a, it was her facial expression. Yeah. But do you think she meant that facial expression to come off as mean? Um, that's that was her one setting. To be honest. Oh, oh know, shoot. But... <laughs> so, so saying that, mm. I'm sorry to continue in because I I'm really interested. Right? Uh, you have so much questions. <laughs> I'm really no 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 no. It's about me now. It's about me. Okay. It's about me. So saying that that was a Jamaican and it was a facial expression. Uh-huh. You know, sometimes I have that RBF, that mm-hmm. resting B face. Mm-hmm. Did I have that facial expression when I meet when I met your mom? You was you was like you were when I first met you. You was a uh, quiet, polite. Shy. Oh, I so, like, I, okay, so I did not have my screw yeah, face yeah, on. You definitely switched up. I was like, so I was, I was nine. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. okay, carry you on. Know, so, <laughs> I mean, sometimes you know, your parents are good indicators of character. Of character. Before you, know? you even realize. Because sometimes you're so deep into the relationship mm-hmm. or so deep into the person that you can ignore certain things. You right. can look past certain things. But your parents. They, they love. See. They hugging up. They ain't kissing up. They ain't doing nothing. So they have no emotional attachment to this person yet. So they can say, I don't think this is it. Yeah. But also you have to make sure that when you're taking like parental advice mm-hmm. like that, it has you have to make sure the type of um 
you have to know the intentions that your parents have because some right. parents can be super over yeah, overprotective. Yeah, yeah, so you would have to make sure when you're taking that advice from your parents, you have to be mindful of intent. Right. Right. We will touch on that a little later. We will okay. we will dive deeper into that. Okay. You know. Um, do you feel like a relationship gains value after you meet the parents? If it if the the meeting went well. If it went well. Yeah. So important can be what well, you see I'm iffy about this because a lot of times people you might meet someone's parents mm -hmm. but so have every single other girlfriend <laughs> that they've ever been with so it's like how much importance is it I'm just a number in a line so it might feel that way for <laughs> some people so it's like the importance and the value may be weighed on the history of that partner to say how many of your girlfriends have met yeah, your mom? Like that's feel, a question I like, that I always ask because yeah, I because I, like, I need to know. I feel like after five six, mom would be like, okay, I know this pattern. I've yeah, seen like this like your your mom wouldn't even get to know me because she's like. Oh, yeah, like, not, I've seen so like, many of you. Know, you. What's your name always. again? Probably call me a wrong name or some ish. <laughs> like, so <laughs> the importance has to be placed on the type of relationship mm -hmm. that you have with your parents. So if it is that it's a strong bond, um, to know that you feel I'm important enough to meet them, these special people to you, mm -hmm. that is a whole lot of weight. That's a whole lot of love I'll develop and feel. But if it is that you have a pattern of introducing every single person that you have ever talked to, maybe somebody you're not even sexual with, somebody you just met two weeks ago, and you just say, hey, mom, so and so and so, like, Mm. I'm not going to feel no type of specialty at mm, all okay. with meeting your parents. Right, so it's a big, is it a big deal if you don't meet the parents? It depends on when. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big on meeting your parents early. Like, I personally don't mind. Mm. Like, I don't feel any type of way if I've, we've been dating for like five months and I haven't met your your mom. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, like really like I'm good. I'm chill we with still, that. We still get we're still getting to know each other. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like five months is way too soon to meet my mother. There's been really? there's mm -hmm. been like long relationships I've been in and I've not introduced. And it's just and the question would be like why? And mm -hmm. in my mind, I already know why. Like I see an end date on this, so I'm not gonna even go and you know I'm not gonna introduce you to my mother because my mother's the type like if she really likes you. She may have the tendency to hold on way after the relationship, mm. right? And I don't want that. Like mm. when I when I when I then you divorce the person, cook. I need you to divorce the person. Yeah, too. but you say your mom hold on. So is it that you get, you want to give your mom some time to yeah, some to time see mom? And, that, and, and it's like you know, if I'm not sure, I don't want to go introduce you six months, then we break up on the seventh month, and then I got yeah, another six months of your mom's. Like your mom's asking, oh, like how is. So, so, so we're gonna like, someone and then I gotta lie, and I gotta be ass. like, you know, she good, she like, yeah, so <laughs> And the thing is, it's like, I don't know, my mom just got this sixth sense where it's like she just knowing something not right, really, and she just figure it out. So I'm just not, I'm not doing that. I need to know for sure, even if I'm not for sure, even if it's not end game, mm -hmm. like at least some time, and like I can see some time after right. because I don't want to introduce you today and then tomorrow. It's just like yeah, well, you, you don't know. know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So even if you sometimes introduce you know. two years later, sometimes you know. You could introduce two years later, and then the next day after that, you yeah. work up. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not going dry at all, but yeah. five, six months, yeah, it's a little iffy. Yeah, but yeah, I guess that's the value of it. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to know. So it's the deal. The big deal about it is if I feel like after, I guess. It is that we meet the parents around the same time if we can, if that's if the parents live in like the same mm -hmm. country or same state or province or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's like if it is that I'm introduced you to my my mom, say three months ago, but you're yet to introduce me to your parents because it's like I mm -hmm. have I would feel like the relationship is serious enough for you to meet my parents. Like that's when I'm gonna right. be like, okay, so. Um, I'm not gonna say it to you though, but it's like at the back of my head, I'm like, okay, so um, when is my um, turn? Yeah, for me, I like yeah. you know, I I take value in meeting parents. Like, I would like to, right? Because there's certain things I wanna I wanna assess for myself that I'm not gonna be able to see from you. I wanna like there's certain. 
things that you can figure out about a person based on their parents because mm -hmm. a lot of your characteristics or tendencies are derived from your parents not all of them not all of but them. there are some things that's just True. inherited by you know just you see being, what this person gonna look right. like in 40 years <laughs> <laughs> not even that but you know it's kind of like you know some of the upbringing the relationship she has with the her mom the relationship she has with her dad the parenting style right. you know is she a good conversationalist with them? Like, how is the how is the the level of interaction between the two? You know, are they respectful towards mm -hmm. their parents? You know, are they still? You know, are they like taken care of? Not to say that like how they treat like, their like, parents. How they treat their parents? Yeah, like you want to see how a guy treats his mom. Yeah, but also of, you you, 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 you really see the mama's boy at that point too, you know. Like you really hey, yo, see yo, I you, you yeah, you are mama's boy. Mama's boy. You know, mama. you know? Yeah. So that brings that brings up another thing. You know, you know, you, you gotta say thank thank God for mama because the food I cook I learned to cook for her. <laughs> no, so, that has know, nothing to do with you, you know, being a mama's boy. I'm passing it down. I don't know. It's just certain things you can be thankful for. Cause she taught me how to cook, clean, wash. And mm -hmm. like cooking is something that you enjoy and all. So, you know, it's like you just want to make sure certain things, like certain good characteristics are passed on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I in, I think I enjoy meeting parents. You do? Yeah. So that brings with, with us talking about mama's boy and stuff. Like that brings a question of is it a deal breaker if like you meet the parents mm -hmm. and the parents don't like you? Oh, personally. Like 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 your partner. If your if your mom said, um like you said yeah. <laughs> like you said earlier, your mom met this person, it's like mm, mm -hmm. not the one. So, so I don't think this is a deal breaker. I don't think it's a deal breaker. Really? However, however, uh -huh. having both of them to at least be agreeable will make your life a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, but if your parents, because you you did end up breaking up with this yeah, person, not for the same reasons. Yeah, okay. I just didn't bring two of them together ever again. <laughs> but, okay, but a lot yeah. of people like are like as we were talking about uh -huh. mama's boys, they they take into account. The what their feelings. their mother's feelings and what their mom's saying. Right. So if it is that mm, you love this person, but your mom not feeling certain characteristics, because as you said, your parents might see certain things that you might you not see. see. Right. Mm -hmm. Is it a deal breaker if you if they have valid reason that reasons that you didn't even see before? Yeah. I mean, if it's valid reasons, you take it with a grain of salt, of course, and it's something that you. But you be, love this person, yeah, right? But, it's but you can't you, live it's with it, right? It's, but it's something that you're gonna pay attention to, okay? Because you wanna you wanna look at it from the point is, can I live with it, mm -hmm. right? And. Like I said, it's not a deal breaker. It's just what you're willing to put up with. But you're going to be mindful. Yeah. You know? But that you see mindful, but that also makes you start second guessing the relationship and also put a might put a strain on it. I, it could. It could. It, However, like you said, it can be something that you're willing to live with. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody is seeking the hundred. Sometimes you got to deal with 90, 10, 60, 20, uh, sorry, 80, 20. You know, you never really probably might not True. get some of the whole pie, but just be satisfied with that. Yeah, but like, but if, like I said, I do take into consideration mm -hmm. what my how my mom feels about this, like the person, like mm, you know. But then you start thinking, like, damn. Cause I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's like your parents—they already did they thing. They they want you their trials and everything. So you'd have to you go through be, that. You should be given that same. Luxury, in a sense, to go through the ups and downs, the the twists and turns, and try to figure it out. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, right. you still want to take it with a grain of salt. You don't want to take it as Bible because some things you just got to learn for yourself. It may be changeable, it may not be a one off. But like I said, if your parents, fellas, if your parents, <laughs> if your mom, specifically your mom, because I know most dads, they're like, whatever. If your mom and your girl can get along, it makes your life a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, but what if it is that your mom is the one eventually causing fiction? Like, uh, okay, we'll talk about valid reasons. What mm. if your mom came with reasons that makes absolute no sense? It's just that she personally doesn't like your partner. Um, then, it, like, it, like obviously, it's just like if anyone comes with a 
invalid reason about why they don't like your father. Yeah, but that's that your girl. mom. That's your mom. Like, <laughs> as, as, as your mother, you need to sit your mother so, down. Oh, like, hey, that's the next thing. Mom. Would you talk to your mom about yeah, yeah. a lot of people if that? Yeah, because a lot of people scared and they don't, they just... Well, you say you, you ain't know, scared? I'm not scared. Like, if, if, I, if, I see, if I see it as, you know, I'm going to fight for it. Bye, you know, I'm not to gonna live. just say, "Okay, mom, you right, and leave." Cause this that might be the best thing that ever happened to you, but your mom only sees what she's shown. She mm-hmm. don't know what happens behind the scenes, and this is why you gotta try to, you know, show her what you see rather than. Yeah, but sometimes you can, sometimes you can see all that. Things. It's all yeah. pretty in roses and all of that, but to say that your to say that your mom just dead set on <laughs> like she don't like this person, but you are so in love, so it's like. How it it might make your life a little bit harder, but it's yeah. like you you, you go can't and live mom. through your peer. You can't you can't make your parents into your relationship. Yeah. I'm sorry. There's boundaries should be set with with you limiting your parents' involvement in your relationship. Period. You gotta say, you gotta say mom. It is what it is. The, the, okay? This is a script, right? <laughs> mom. Do you love me? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you want to see me happy? Yes. Not with her. <laughs> this is the road that I'm taking to happiness. No, I'm not saying you have to love it. Mm-hmm. But if you love me, you would at least try to like it. True. And, you know, hopefully that works. And um, I guess that goes for girls with, with their dads and stuff. It's like, re- it's harder to like, you don't want to bring your boyfriend around your father if in, he doesn't yeah. like him. You know you what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> it's too much testosterone. You know, and you know what I it's like? It's kind of I, aggressive. I enjoy, I enjoy You've had fathers. experience. I enjoy being your father. Yeah. You know, because it's funny. It's funny to you? Because they're a little bit up in age. Because they're a little bit up in age, right? They're all up in age. They're going to come. They're going to they're gonna look at you, right? They're going to look at you top Open to bottom. Them. Trying to intimidate you. And they're going to try to to, to, in, to, to intimidate you. They're going to try to, to, to lay down some dominance. Like Reggie. Right? And it's like. <laughs> In your mind, you're thinking, yo, we could go shoot it out on the basketball court right now. I like, you know, there's certain things that you know you just have over them. Like, you can't Ooh. do this better than me. How you, you know that? that? Like, I'm telling you. Father is you, <laughs> nah, you look at that. Like, I remember this, this, like, you know, I got a few stories, but. Yeah, talk your stories. We love Simba's stories. <laughs> <laughs> I love your stories. This one time, I did this girl, and she, her father was, like, a muscular, tough guy. Okay. Right, like a tough guy. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, hey, come outside. I need to talk to you." So I'm like, right, cool. Like, you know, she already told me stories. He used to do this, this back in the days, this gang, whatever. Okay. Like, sure. He's he a good guy, know. So I'm looking at him, and he just looking at me. I'm looking at him. So we talking, da 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 da. da. And he's pretty much going through and telling me, I shouldn't do anything to his daughter and I was, and I was like I know that he did these <laughs> things back in the day so I'm just like hey yo bro like honestly like you want to talk to them on a respect level like, mm-hmm. that's the thing like if if they see fear in you at that point mm-hmm. they not gonna respect you and they not gonna want that for their daughter you know so you gotta show them like you're respectful <laughs> you're not scared you can you know handle and hold your own ground you always try to come in with a strong handshake so you gotta squeeze the hand back What's you gotta up? look up your eyes yeah, you gotta deepen your <laughs> voice you gotta put out your chest you gotta let them know that there's a new daddy in your town you feel me <laughs> whoa what <laughs> Hey yo, you gotta what let them, <laughs> you it's gotta a let new them, daddy in your yeah, town bye <laughs> you gotta show them that you know your like the transfer of protection for their daughter is now being handed over to you. You got this. Mm. You know, you got this. Mm. You don't want to come in and, you know, disrespect them because disrespect doesn't gain respect. Obviously. Respect right. gains respect, right? You can't right. you can't go in there and prove like, yo, this is my house. No. Nah. You gotta be like I understand this is your daughter, like, this is what we're going to do, this is what I have, like, you know, you don't have to go through the whole run on the first day, but you got to show him enough respect for him to make him sh- feel assured that you're going to respect and take care of his daughter. Okay, speaking on that, like, I'm going to go back a little bit, uh, we're talking about respect and parents, right, and mm-hmm. speaking from a girl perspective, so you said to give respect is to get respect or get respect, mm-hmm. give respect. And what if you see like your mom, your your girlfriend is giving all the respect she can give, mm-hmm. but your mom 
isn't giving the best. Do you you pull Damn. up you pull up your your, your mom on that? I can't speak on estrogen. <laughs> yeah, but would you would you pull up your mom on on a disrespectful? Yeah, I'll be like, mom, she's trying. You gotta try to tweak. You know, you gotta meet somebody right. halfway. You can't as as a man, you can't sit back and and watch them feud because if they do, your life is never gonna be peaceful because you gonna hear about it from both sides. You know, while you're at the house, your mom will be stressing you. When you get back to your house, mm -hmm. the girl will be like, ah, you know, like, ah, <laughs> with that and the neck roll and the attitude. Yeah, like, yes, yeah, that. Not, Talk to not, your mom. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna have peace. Talk to so, your mom. It's okay. always, it's always super important that if there's any friction, you want to nip. You want to pull to the side. And the yeah. next thing too is like for the for the ladies and stuff. Like you have moms that come off. A little too strong like you're saying with the guy perspective mm -hmm. with the dad and whatever but the mom come out too strong or well, seem like a this <laughs> or come out like a little bit disrespectful what you can do is at the end of the day you have to just continue to kill them with niceness you can't i don't feel like you can ever disrespect the mom even if you're getting disrespected you just you just either you just walk away from the situation or you kill, you kill, you kill her with kindness. You kill her with gestures. You just, you just keep, you just keep killing them with, with that good stuff. You know, show them that intent. Just like, okay, you wanna do, or you're on that, but this is how I am yeah, as a sometimes, person. Just kill them with the gestures, up. gestures, and then I'm over it. Yeah. If you're not giving me back what I'm, I'm giving, if, if I'm not receiving that back, mm -hmm. after a while I'll just keep my distance, and then that be it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so do you think of meeting the girls like a date? Like, do you try to impress, or are you your natural, completely true self? Well, <laughs> for me, okay. So I do treat meeting the parents like a date because obviously I'm meeting this person for the first time. First impression, I don't want to give you the wrong impression. Right. Also, I'm not gonna give you all of me. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna show your mom me in totality. I'm gonna give her. Some of my personality, but I'm gonna be more reserved because naturally that's how I am with people, new people anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna treat it like a date in a sense that how I present myself. Right. I'm gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more, more, more calm and reserved a little bit because I have a little story behind. I don't know, like I could think of on the top of my head. Mm -hmm. So I'll be Mirror. cool and stuff. Like I'm, I thinking about like meeting your your mom. Mm -hmm. But me and her for the first time, as you said, I was quite polite all of that. And then like the second time I met your mom, I was like in purple hair or something. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah, you remember. And I know your mom wasn't <laughs> you that, feeling that. that, that pink, purple. <laughs> yeah, I know she was. <laughs> I was in some long body wave purple yeah. hair and some booty shorts or something. Yeah. So it's like. It's like the first impression, it's like she still see who I am because mm -hmm. that's me. And then the second meeting, third meeting, all of that, like get more comfortable and know me personally, she's going to see more of me. More of my personality going to come up. More patois going to come up. I'm going to start talking more patois mm -hmm. and stuff. So it's like gradually seeing me, like knowing that I can't cook. Like she's going to know that. And you're, 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 you're laughing now because you're like, <laughs> you know, I know I can't cook. <laughs> And it's funny. I mean, it's you funny. Do, you do do I know about it. Right? Oh yeah, cause she loves my fried chicken. Yeah. yeah. Love so it's like chicken. it's like giving a little bit. Don't shock them. You know mm -hmm. you don't want you don't want to put them in in shock to be like oh jeez um. So you got you have to get them pieces of yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm so. I'm just lovable by appearance. Oh God! You feel that? You yeah. feel like every every your pops you is my guy. What are you talking about? Because you're the same person. Okay. Like literally, just funny and loud yeah, and cool, annoying and obnoxious, and like the exact same way. I'm be funny. Like I'm, I talk. You talk about like, like your friends, like, and that's cool. Well, yeah. So you it's know, like make them feel comfortable. So it is definitely like a date. Well, yeah. for, that's how I treat a date. Reserve, um, you get some, I feel and then like, you give you the rest. I feel like with me, it's like initially when you meet me, I'm going in because I mean, I guess growing up in the Caribbean, it was always, you know, talk to about be seen and not heard. Mm -hmm. You know, be polite when you first mm -hmm. meet. Da da da. Good evening. Da, da, da. And the manners are always going to be consistent. Like it's not going to be here one day and then disappear. And, you know, over time, like you say, after you want, want, you get a little more free, you get a little bit more expressive with certain things. It's just like when you first meet your boyfriend or your girlfriend, mm -hmm. you're still learning them. So over right. time, 
different attributes and different parts of your personality it comes out a bit more so it's like when you first meet me you're gonna see this second stage you're gonna see this third stage we comfortable with you we might be laid up you what? know just sitting back kicking back watching tv talking about all types of things you just mm -hmm. never know you know so it's all about comfort level over time and what you show over time just because you got to know your barriers you got to know how far can you go with certain things right so all that is learned over time yeah okay so do you see any because i know like i've heard stories where people have gotten married without ever meeting <laughs> their significant other's parents and that could be for uh Seems a number different of reason, reasons, right? It could the be relationship like, with the parents. Relationships with mm -hmm. parents. It could be just like, you know, you know, not everything is good at home. You don't want to involve them in that. Right. So we're talking about a non, let's talk about it as a non-toxic non -toxic relationship. situation. Yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. So if the parents, the person, your partner doesn't have a toxic situation with their parents, how would you feel about not meeting? First of all, if you have a good relationship yeah, with your parents, um, we're not getting married. Well, I won't say we're not getting married. Well, probably because okay. it's like, what are no, but what are you hiding? Yeah. Why you can't? I can't meet your parents before we get married because it's just like, brings yeah, like, an why example. Not? Like, it just can't figure out a reason. Now why. Yeah, like, what why not? Mean? Because I was just thinking about like watching Real Housewives of Atlanta. I know I you know I love that show. show, but Kenya on that show, mm -hmm. she's married to um her um Mark or man or whatever. They were together for like six months before they got married, but they've been they have a two year old two year old daughter and they she has never met his parents. Yeah, that's wild. Like, that's wild, and it's not like he has a toxic relationship with the parents, but it's like, how do you your, your child don't know Come their on, grandparents? Like that, that spirit, makes no sense. A spirit flight is like eighteen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and you got money, yeah, yeah. so it's yeah. like, is it that? Immediately, what I think what, with situations like that is that the man has another family. Maybe. That his parents obviously know knows he has a family, so it's like he can't no, introduce. Yeah, them. That's true, and it's like it's like well, you look like you're, you're about to say something, but you're like you thought about like nope, nope, not that story. No, no, no. <laughs> I've heard of one situation with a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. You know, he had two girlfriends at the time. Oh wow! And one of the girlfriends was begging him to meet his parents. Oh, wow. And for the longest while he couldn't do it, and because he got two girlfriends, first of all. And I wonder he just lost his cool. He's like, the reason why I can't show you to my mom is because she, you know, knows my my yeah, real woman. It's like, it's like <laughs> he, in a sense, he was like he's trying to protect her. Because, oh, he's protecting you got two automatically, girlfriends. Automatically, if your mom knows the first one, she needs the second one. She's gonna hate you because she thinks the that second you one. Can't but the point her. is, he got two girlfriends, so it's like okay. So it's like wait. I don't know. Talk to him, but <laughs> but it's like but it is. But that's crazy to mm -hmm. not meet the parents. That yeah, is like, not a toxic like, relationship with the parents. Well, like you're not you're not, not asking. Meet the for you're the not asking that's crazy. You're not asking the father for permission for his daughter. Yeah, like, like it just seemed like on. it just seemed like it's, if it's there's wild. something you're either saying I am your parents wouldn't approve of me. Right, there's a lot of underlying messages. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things like answer. you'd say like my the parents wouldn't think I'm the one for you or wouldn't approve of me because of maybe it is like how I look. It could be a racial thing. It could be a financial thing. It could be an occupational thing. So the parents the might not like the job. You yeah, know, you see that on a lot in these Netflix movies. It's yeah, like, yeah they think that. And it could be a re if it is that you're in an interracial relationship and you've never met the person's family. That is a huge red flag. To like, how do we yeah, yeah. move from here? If I can't, not to say that that would be an absolute deal breaker because it just depends on the person, the people, oh, and the a situation. Break for me. What if you don't meet the parents of because like if you were dating a white woman? Yeah, first of all. This is this lab is for colored. <laughs> no, it's not. It's for it's all hey, inclusive. Hey, yo, but nah, um, if I if I'm if I'm not able to meet your parents off a racial issue, then you definitely not the one for me because yeah, but that's the, that's appearance, not the person. Nah, 
there's some things that you just can't ignore and it's better for you not to ignore and when well, it comes to something as serious as race yeah I'm because then you gotta think about your kid like the, the kids which because is gonna be no, their right. grandkids yeah do you wanna keep them Subject. away from the grandparents you don't wanna have to do yeah, that but then Subjected when to they that go over to the video. grandparents what are they seeing there Sure. What are your innate thoughts and feelings about these people? Because because mm-hmm. if I can't even meet you, like yeah. I don't want them around yeah. my kids. Like and then the person that you're in a relationship with, mm-hmm. what did you learn from your parents that yeah, but, it may not it may not be it may not be outright showing, but there's some underlying things that you just yeah. But I got to. mixed feelings about that because I feel like as you said not all behavior is learned behavior yeah. so it's like as you said like you pick up certain characteristics from a parent and mm-hmm. some not so much so it is that um, maybe the parents weren't blatantly racist but you just know they wouldn't want a, a black partner like that's speaking from the white yeah. side but on the black side we do have in our like you said yeah. like even you you, you said like you, you personally wouldn't date a white woman Mm-hmm. So it is that there is on the black side. It's not like say, I, yeah, not, not to say, say that you don't like white that, people. That the yeah. problem is the white woman. Is yeah, just, just that a, re, a, a cultural thing more, for you. A ton more. Oh, what what am I want to say? I just find a lot more value in someone a black woman. Yeah, for you personally. Yeah, so it is that for, in our even in our own community to say like it's not like your parents are rich or whatever, but maybe they want like a black figure a, a black yeah. per you for a black man like a strong yeah. black man or whatever so it says that that could be it like the parents just feel so strongly about it that they don't want so yeah, it's gonna cause a strain in a marriage as well yeah. so i don't know that could be a whole lot of reason do you feel like there's a difference between meeting the mom and meeting the dad absolutely <laughs> i think we we'll talk about it throughout this whole thing uh, too like a little yeah. bit Okay, so for meeting the mom, well, okay, let's talk about it from, okay, for me personally, you're the guy. Mm -hmm. I find more importance, or find it significantly more important to meet your mom as opposed to your dad. Because what I realized, or what I have seen from the past, is that guys are quicker to introduce their girlfriends to their dad than their mom. Because dads are usually, dads for the boys are usually cooler and more reserved. So it's right. like, you, you probably introduce your father. So it's probably a girl you're just talking to for like two weeks. Yeah. So the, the, with the dad, it's like a commonality. It's like, yeah, it's oh more, yeah, like that is my girlfriend, yada, yada, yada. But with the mom, it's like, boys are like, with their moms, it's like, they're more careful. However, some moms act like the boys' friends, like, his home girl or whatever and they might just introduce all of his girlfriends to his mom but i feel like there's more significance for the boys yeah, to introduce i feel the mom. i feel like that too like th- there's a lot more value and importance in meeting the mom and meeting the dad because dad's just usually chill from the, for the girl for the, gu- for the guy's perspective oh for if your I, dad. Actually, for, I feel for both like uh-uh because some girls <laughs> not gonna just introduce any any boy to their to dad the they're However, gonna be very careful right, but if the mom likes you, dad don't mother, automatically like yeah, you. Yes, it does. No, I'm they do not. Dad, I'm telling you, I, but I'm telling you from, a, it, well, from a girl perspective. Nine out of ten times. I'm telling you. Listen, you know why? Because at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the wife, happy wife, happy life. The father can hate you, and the mother t- can work see, him you over. See this I'm so telling much you. Time. Well, okay, telling for you personally, mother, that you have, you, listen, you the best mother experience. can work him over. We're going like, to agree to disagree because I have a different perspective over. on that. The father cannot work over the mother into liking a guy. The mother could like you. Okay, so for, 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 okay, from the girl's mm-hmm. parents. The mom could like the girl's boyfriend. But if dad don't like your boyfriend, nothing that mom says can stop dad from, from yeah. not liking you. Yeah, nothing she said, but she can work him over or... All right. she can tell him like not him. to show it when he's around. No, that you gotta listen. No, else, else that that don't have no boundaries. That I'm actually putting her husband because yeah. you don't know, like it work for you. You would think that's what you should be talking. I'm talking from experience. That's what you I'm think. Okay, experience. so we have kids, mm. and our kid introduced us to the boyfriend. You do not like the boyfriend, but I like the boyfriend. I'm like Simba. You gotta chill out. He's a cool, cool young man. Give him a chance. You're gonna give him a chance. If your dick said I'm not liking it, I'll give him a chance. Cause I said so. Cause 
my daughter is going to plead his case. Okay, so it's you're not gonna you're just going to because I'm not, hold up, hold up. So, I'm not, so you're listen to what I'm saying. My daughter's gonna plead this case. His mom is gonna plead it. My my, 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 my wife is gonna plead this case. I may not like him, is. but am I gonna have the two most important women in my life sad? No, I'm not. So I'm gonna give him one more chance. Would it be a large room for error? No, it will not. Mm-hmm. He better come over to the house. He better bring Coronas. He better oh, he better God. he better <laughs> like the sports teams I like. You know, what? I mean, the certain things. Okay, so you gotta you butter you up. You gotta, you gotta come in. You okay, gotta, you gotta make it feel nice again. You can't, cause if you date my daughter as a man, you date me too. So the same way you trying to impress her, you gotta impress me too. Well, I'm sticking to what I I thought that for girls, introducing the guy to your father is a little bit more like. Well, I'm speaking generally, obviously, because everybody's parents is different, mm. but. On a general, in a general perspective, it's like meeting my dad is like, oh, serious though. But for me personally, because obviously, I grew up with my mom, so my mom is the most important thing mm-hmm. for me. So it's like meeting yeah, my mom is the right. most important thing. Mm-hmm. It's your foot in the door if she approves. Well, yeah, basically, mm-hmm. yeah, seriously, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. do you have anything else to say? I think we pretty much touched yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah. No, because you looked like your face looked like you were thinking nah, of another story. Nah, 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 your, nah, face, nah, your, nah. your face had a story written on it. Yeah. So I was waiting for you to see if we're going to spill it. Because you look like you're like trying to think like, mm, should I tell stories or nah, not? Nah, nah okay. I'm good. I'm okay, good. so we're good. So that is it for this. Laws about this, in-laws. I the la- that's ooh, the laws of Laws what? of in-laws. Okay, yeah, I'm going to give the title right there. Okay, hey yo. yo, thank you again for tuning in to another week of the He Say She Say podcast. Yes, and this topic was actually a suggestion. So if you have topics that you want us to talk about, let yeah, us know. Can okay. You can drop it under our YouTube video. So yeah. our YouTube channel is CS Together. The Instagram YouTube. is underscore He Say She Say podcast. Mm-hmm. Our personal Instagram is me, Island Poppy, with the underscore at the end. Twitter, Island Poppy, with the underscore after that. And, and my ad, oh my god, I almost forgot my ad. How do damn I? That chef on at damn that chef on everything. That is everything. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you next week. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Forever. Be a below when you wind on the pipeline. Mm-hmm. Me lady, believe me, me love you, me lifeline. Mm-hmm.